Well, it's November and we all know what that means for the fine folks over at Track. It's Metal Month. And what a month it's been so far. The folks at Track have released two incredible releases. First release is for their Easy Drummer 3 platform, and that's the Post Metal Easy X. And the second release for their Easy Bass platform, which is the Progressive Metal EBX. Now, the folks at Track were kind enough to send these over to me at no charge. So when you see the little paid promotion symbol, they didn't actually pay me for it. But I did want to let everybody know that they sent these over for me to check out. They also sent over Easy Drummer 3, which is not something I had. And watch out for a video next week about Easy Drummer 3 in comparison to Superior Drummer 3, which I've used for a long time. So thank you so much to the folks at Track for providing me with these so I can take a look at them. I really haven't done much with them. I want to, as always, take sort of a first look and walk through of these with you. And then hopefully you can make a decision that these two new releases would be something that you could add to your collections. And if the past is any indication, I don't think we're going to be disappointed. I love most everything that the folks at Track do. So without further ado, let's dive over first to the Track website, see what these two new releases are all about. Then we're going to listen to the sounds individually. Then I'm going to throw them into a mix of my own own that I was working on recently in editing some Line 6 Helix presets. Uh, I don't even know if it's an appropriate mix, but I just want to throw them in there to sort of see what they sound like in some sort of a mix, and we'll see how they turn out. So without further ado, let's head over to the Track website. So first up, we have the new Progressive Metal EBX. We see here it says, for the past few decades, encountering the progressive movement has been one of the most vocal and constantly evolving midpoints in the metal scene. From the trailblazing likes of Queensryche, one of my favorite bands, Sabotage and Fate's Warning, onto the melodic mastery of Dream Theater, the ingenuity of Tool, the completely genre-overthrowing sound of Meshuga to where it is today. With its mural of niched offshoots, it's kept its foothold firmly in its roots but continue to thrive at what is inherent in every fiber it's being to progress. So I always like to read this little first paragraph to get an idea of what we're dealing with. Over here it says, a meticulously captured modern electric six-string bass inspired by the sounds and players of the progressive metal scene includes finger and pick options as well as slap and tapping articulations, offering a range from A0 to A4 includes a collection of presets covering a broad range of progressive metal inspired tones and it also as usual comes with a custom midi library coming down to see what instrument we're using it says with its neck through design a narrow horn double cutaway body the ibanez btb 1836 is a base design for brick solid lower register riffs as much as it's the perfect option for the players that venture up it's 24 fret panga panga fretboard. That it has the qualities to encompass these best of both worlds trait, which was apparent when thoroughly testing it, was what tipped the scale in its favor for this project. So very cool. So we're going to go take a look at that in just a moment. But first, let's take a quick glance at the new Post Metal Easy X drum expansion pack for Easy Drummer 3. It says unfiltered rawness. On the very edge of a rock on the small island of Giske, Norway, facing an infinite panorama of the unforgivingly raging North Sea under midnight skies painted in the unpredictably swirling arcs of the northern lights sits the Ocean Sound Recording Studio with snow-capped mountains towering like gallant giants frozen in time around it. This is quite the paragraph. In these awe-inspiring surroundings, we find the perfect condition to illustrate the unfiltered rawness of the post-metal sound. This EZX for Easy Drummer 3 presents a collection of big, earthy, and mercilessly vibrant drums tailored for atmospheric, slow, and organic-sounding metal. So this includes four kits and two further configurations captured with snare wires off, several extra kit pieces and sets of big and dark cymbals. All instruments were sampled by Thomas Headland of the band Cult of Luna, one of the absolute foreigners in today's budding post-metal scene. So very nice. So as we know here, uh, we've already said this vibrant, big, dark, earthy. Drums inspired by the post-metal sound captured at the Ocean Sound Recording Studio in Norway four complete kits and again we get a, a collection of midi with this so what are these kits if we go down here uh we have the lighthouse kit which is a ludwig super classic three ply mahogany poplar mahogany moving on down we have the pathfinder kit which is a yamaha maple custom absolute and it's a six ply maple kit and as we move on we have the mariner kit which is a Ludwig Classic Maple, seven-ply maple material. And we have the Island Kit. So that's going to be a Gretsch 70s stop sign badge made of six-ply maple gum maple. We also have some additional instruments. So you guys can head over to the Track website to get a better idea of the details of what's going on in these particular bundles. All right, so heading first over to Easy Drummer. Uh, again, what we have here, we have our post-metal Easy X. We have a... Uh, 
quite an array of different presets, which we will take a listen to. Here are the drum kits. We have the Pathfinder kit, the Island kit, the Lighthouse kit, and the Mariner kit. So we're going to take a listen to all of these. Uh, we'll take a quick look through. We also have grooves. I have my huge library here, but we have our EZX Post Metal Library right here. Gives us some nice grooves. Uh, we have the Baron 60 BPM category, the Void 152 BPM, separating hats, cymbals, toms, fills. And then we have straight 6.8 with the Tundra 63 BPM. So some of these, this is on the particular preset I'm on right now, which is the Broken Oars on the Pathfinder kit. Put it back to the original tempo that these were played at. Great sounding. Nice big tom sound. As you can see, a lot to work with here. And, and as always, we can drag these down to our timeline if we so desire. And edit from there with all the wonderful tools and easy drummers. So that's great. We do have a lot of great MIDI available. Uh, obviously, we can go over to our grid editor and edit any of those as well. Into our mixer here, we have our kick, snare, tom, cymbals, ambience, verb, parallel, compression, and percussion so that we can actually tailor these by changing the mix if we so desire and whatnot. Okay, so I have a little setup down here for the song that I was messing with here. And that's the little grooves that I was using for my song that we're going to hear a little bit later. But what I would like to do is go through some of the presets here and some of the different drum kits. We'll stay on this Broken Oars preset and we'll just go through the different drum kits. And we'll listen through this entire pair of grooves. Moving on now to the island kit. Moving on to the Lighthouse kit.
and lastly, moving on to the Mariner kit. Wow, so some really great sounds there. I was really kind of partial to the Pathfinder kit uh, with this broken oars presets. Very, very cool. So let's do the same thing, but let's go through some of the different presets that we have built in here with Easy Drummer 3, starting with the Aimless Drift preset.
All right, so there you have all of the presets that we have at our disposal. Now, to be totally fair, the grooves that I had chosen here because they go with a particular song are not necessarily the most suitable grooves for certain presets that we had here. Some of them were obviously designed for maybe much more slow moving, maybe atmospheric style drums, but that just gives you an overview and an understanding of what these presets and different drum kits sound like. Now moving on to our progressive metal EBX. Wow, this is a very cool looking bass we have here. As we mentioned, it is an Ibanez bass. So as per usual, we have our normal EBX features, right? We have grooves and we do have a progressive metal groove library. So we have mid-tempo straight four, four straight five, four straight seven, eight. Very happy to see the different time signatures. That's an amazing feature. Up-tempo straight four, four straight seven, four. So we have a lot of different possibilities here. Tapping variations, very cool. Really beautiful addition to a groove library. Beautiful harmonics. Set. So beautiful stuff there, different cool tapping variations, very nice addition to our groove library. interesting progressive metal style grooves that we can use and alter to our needs. So a lot of great new MIDI as usual, and obviously we can take any of these, drag them down to our timeline, double click them, edit them in all the ways that we've talked about in the past. So very nice, excellent groove library there. Again, obviously we have our grid editor, nothing really new going on there. Although we do have this list of articulations with the progressive metal EBX. We have auto alternate fingers, middle finger, index finger, ghost note, harmonic, percussive right hand, tapping, slap pop, ghost slap, and percussive left hand. And we heard the tapping articulation put to good use just a few minutes ago in the interesting groove that we had there. And obviously, you know, the audio tracker and drums and keys, this is nothing that's unique to the progressive metal EBX, but more just to EBX in general. So if we come over here and maybe find just a nice solid groove, what we will do is we'll go through some of the presets that we have here, both finger and pick and hear what each of these sounds like in this library.
So there you have it. Again, there's some of those, maybe something like Tapper's Delight is not exactly the preset you would pick for this style of group. But again, just to give you an idea of what we have here. All right, so coming back over to an actual mix now, and this is always the most interesting thing, is to take some of these presets we just looked at, drop them into a mix and see how they work. So for Easy Drummer here, what I've chosen is the Post Metal Broken Oars preset which sounds like this on its own. And for easy bass, I have chosen, which one here? The Tube Gear Pick. So the easy bass preset sounds like this. Let's add easy drummer in with it. Now keep in mind that once I add the guitars in here, I've done no mixing to this at all. This is all from a previous mix that I used Superior Drummer and a different Easy Bass EBX. So there'll probably be room to tweak this mix in a huge way, but just for now, to just sort of see what happens if I take this and just drop it into an existing mix. All right, so I'm gonna be just as surprised as you guys are. Let's see what this all sounds like together, just using the default presets that we talked about from both Easy Drummer 3 and Easy Bass.
that's not half bad. I thought it might be worse than that, just considering I just literally dropped these in here over the existing guitar parts. Let's come over here and try the Polar Star preset on our Easy Drummer 3 Post Metal EBX. We'll let that load up. Not so bad. Again, we would tweak these in a final mix to be certain, but I'm just trying to mess around to see what these presets sound like just dropped in without any other tweaking. Let's do this. Let's go over to the Sirens preset and we'll see what that is all about. Again, just kind of randomly picking ones that kind of caught my ear as I was listening through them soloed. Again, not bad, very interesting. I think I'm gonna come back to my original Broken Oars preset. I really enjoyed that one, that was nice. And I'm gonna just come over, just so we can hear another preset here maybe. Let's go to the Clank Pick preset on the Easy Bass Progressive Metal EBX. And let's take a listen to what that sounds soloed. Very nice, and I think we can see that we can have a real vast array of sounds that can really shape the mix in different ways with very little effort. Anybody who is interested, all of these guitar tones are from my Line 6 Marketplace Metal Through the Decades Helix or HX Stomp uh, preset package. So if you like those tones, you can always go grab that. I'll try to remember to put the link below to those. All right, so there you have it. What did you guys think? I think the folks at TuneTrack, as per usual, have knocked it out of the park. What an amazing amazing release. Super, super happy with what they've done here. Really incredible stuff. And I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed with these as well. I hope you liked what you heard. And I hope that helps you to decide whether these are certain products that you want to add to your library. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you sharing your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get use or enjoyment out of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so much for sharing your time with me. Ciao for now.